I'm making a crumble today so I have my butter and caster sugar, plain flour and I have some oats and demerara sugar that I'll pop on the top to make it a little bit crunchy. I'm going to make apple and cherry. I have some cherries in the freezer that I picked from the garden so this is a very easy simple crumble mix. So I put my flour, butter and sugar in here and I'm just going to rub it together with my fingertips until it resembles breadcrumbs um, and that's it, it's as simple as that. So I've rubbed the butter, flour and sugar together to form like breadcrumbs. I've chopped up my apple and put it into the dish with the cherries. Some people cook their apple first, um, I like my fruit to be quite firm underneath the crumble and some people add sugar. Um, which I tend not to do. I'm trying to keep things a little bit healthier. So now you just pop the top, this the crumble topping onto the fruit. And so I've got my topping on there. I've pressed it down, and then all you need to do is oh, that's a little bit noisy. Roughly sprinkle around about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of oats on there. And then the same, the demerara sugar just on the top. So there's quite a lot of sugar sweetness coming from this, which is again why I don't put any sugar in with the fruit. So it's as simple as that. Um, there's your crumble. You can experiment with all sorts of fruits, just apple, maybe put some sultanas in it, um, whatever fruits in season is a really good thing to do. So I'm just going to pop that into the oven now. Um, and for about half an hour to 40 minutes on the 180. So I'm going to pop that into the oven for about half an hour, 40 minutes on 180. And then that's as simple as that. A lovely fruity crumble served with custard, ice cream, cream, creme fraiche, or just on its own. Happy baking! Out of the oven now. Nice and crunchy on the top. Some of the fruits bubble through, but it'd be delicious. Um, hope you enjoy it. So it's a really easy crumble mix.